Praise be Jesus and Mary. In Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 14, we read that the virgin will bear a son. Right? This is the great sign that the virgin will conceive and bear a son. And here we read in St. Luke's Gospel, and the virgin's name was Mary. And so Our Lady fulfills that prophecy of Isaiah, the virgin who would conceive and bear a son. And St. Luke reveals to us that her name was Mary. Today we celebrate the feast of the holy name of Mary. In Hebrew, Miriam, and she has the same name as the sister of Moses. And this, of course, is all by divine providence. Moses being a type of our Lord, leading the people of God out of slavery. And Miriam, being the leader of the women, is a type of Our Lady. And so the name Miriam is also providential. In Hebrew, Miriam, Mar Yam, which means bitterness of the sea. And we're told that Moses' sister received this name because she was born around the time when Pharaoh had commanded the Hebrew males to be drowned in the sea, right? To be drowned in the water. So there's the bitterness of the sea. And similarly, Our Lady, um, being the co-redemptrix, the mother of the man of sorrows, it would be Our Lady of Sorrows and would have to endure a sea of bitterness as the Queen of Martyrs and co-redemptrix. But we're told that Miriam, Moses' sister, her name was changed after the crossing through the Red Sea to Mariam, okay? Mara Yam, meaning mistress of the sea. Because again, she was the leader of the women, leading the women through the Red Sea under the headship, of course, of Moses. And then it is instead Pharaoh who gets drowned in the sea and the chariots and all of the rest. And so Our Lady, likewise, is mistress of the sea. She leads us through the sea of this world. She is the star of the sea, guiding us towards the promised land, our heavenly home. Now we pray something similar to this in the Collect of the Mass. We say, venerating her holy name, may we escape the dangers of this present age and obtain with her life eternal. And so we ask Our Lady to lead us through the dangers of this life and obtain with her life eternal. And now one of the dangers, of course, that we have to deal with in this life come from the devils. St. Bridget, in her revelations, talks about how the holy name of Mary is feared by the devils and how we should invoke her name in order to be preserved from the demonic dangers and make it to eternal life. So this is actually Our Lady giving a private revelation to St. Bridget, and she says, all the demons, however, shudder with fear at the name of Mary. When they hear the name Mary, they immediately release a soul out of the claws with which they had held that soul. Just as a bird or a hawk with its claws and beak embedded into its prey releases it immediately if it hears a sound, but soon returns when it sees that no action follows, so do the demons. Frightened when they hear my name, they release the soul. 
but they return and fly back as fast as an arrow if no improvement follows. No one is so cold in his love of God that he will not experience the devil releasing him from his habitual sins if only he invokes my name with the true intention of never returning to his evil deeds. The devil will never return to him unless he resumes the will to commit mortal sins. Sometimes, though, the devil is allowed to trouble him for the sake of his greater reward. However, the devil shall never own him. So here we see the power of the holy name of Mary, okay, given to us, and as the church prays, to allow us to escape the dangers of the present age and to obtain with her eternal life. And so let's venerate the holy name of Mary. Let's call upon her often, of course, with the firm resolve never to sin. And if we do this, then we will be sure that Our Lady, the star of the sea, will lead us through the sea of this life to our eternal reward. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.